What's cracking? Josie Garfunkel. Let's learn some shit. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to change up your spawnable types to add a chance of rusted panels into your vehicle mix. Kind of give it a different vibe. Let's jump into it. So the only thing we actually need for this add-on, it's not really an add-on per se, it's more of just a manipulation of some more XML files. We're taking a look at the spawnable types.xml. Also, we're going to take a look at events and event spawns because I have to set up an event to demonstrate the differences of the panels. So to get started, hop over here to the G-Code Discord, link in the description, you already know. Scroll down to the spawnable types category. At this point, you should have everything muted, red, and collapsed. Open that category. Scroll down here to Vehicles Custom. If you scroll up to the top of that channel, I have a file here I made a while back. Adds a mixture of regular panels with the rusted panels, so you get a little blend. We're going to download that. Then we're going to add the inserts and replace the vanilla ones. Once we've downloaded that, let's open that in whatever text editor you want to use. Take a look at this real quick. All we've done here is where the panels are for each vehicle. We've given each panel a 65% chance to spawn on the vehicles. And then within that, a 50-50 chance of either the regular or the rusted version for every color of all four vanilla type vehicles. Gunter, Sarka, ADA, and Olga. Again, all three color variants. And this also adds some small chances of some tools and whatnot, some water, fuel, whatever. And this is a direct replacement of those inserts. Let's hop over here to our spawnable types.xml. We're going to prepare to add all these in and replace the other ones. Control F to search. We're going to search a vehicle. It's going to bring us down towards the bottom of our vehicle section. We need to fish down through here and pull out the vehicles that are not included in this, such as the Off-Road 02 or Hummer. Control C to copy. We're going to delete that out of there. Scroll all the way down here to where the trucks are. And we're just going to put it with that so we don't get it mixed up with the other vehicles. So down here at the bottom, we should just have our trucks and our Hummer. And now all of these above it are simply the vanilla vehicles of all the color variants. I'm just going to go ahead and delete those out of this file because we're about to replace those with mine. Hop over here to the file we've just downloaded. We don't need these top few lines as they are already included with our spawnable types.xml. But under here, we're going to copy all of this all the way to the bottom, not including that final close tag. So just to the bottom of these inserts, control C over here to our prepared spawnable types file, control V. And now we have all those inserts replaced within our file. Control S to save. And now all of our vehicles, starting from when we upload and restart, of course, will have the mix match panels. Of course, anything spawned on your server prior to uploading this file will only have what it came with. I'm going to run through how to set up a basic event real quick just to kind of demonstrate these panels. So I'm going to come down here grab a vanilla event. I'm just going to paste it. I'm going to rename mine to static. And we're going to replace civilian sedan here with vehicles. Something basic. Now this already has the civilian sedans in it with the various colors. So we're going to go down through here, select all the children. Whoops. We do not want to delete that. We simply want to copy it, add it to this new event, come down here, find the Sarkas, or the ADAs rather, control C to copy, control V to paste. We're simply pasting all the vanilla vehicle event children into our new custom event that we're 
setting up right here and we need the sarkas control C now for this we are not gonna have all of the need for these vehicles we simply need one of each so. Now we have a custom event set up. We simply need to create an event spawn. I've got a template at the top of my file, makes it a little easier. Simply copy the name over, control C, control V, copy and paste. We're gonna come up here to our hours of Vive. We're gonna get some coordinates. I'm just gonna do this up here at uh, the airfield, Northeast airfield to make it easy on us. I'm just gonna grab some random coordinates out here in the field. We're gonna copy these lines down, control D to duplicate some extra lines. And we're just gonna make some random spots in here. Now we have our basic static vehicles event spawn set up. Nothing fancy. Rotation all to zero, pointing straight north. Not doing anything special here. Name matches the event name. Again, control S to save each file. Spawnable types as well, especially if you made changes. Now we simply upload these to our Nitrato server and we go check them out. To upload these files and our changes, if you did just the spawnable types, all we have to do is come to our file browser, to our missions out of our Nitrato server. Come down here to the upload file, right here into the main category, as our spawnable types is right here in the main mission folder. We're going to upload a file, and that's going to replace anything in here of the same name. Simply select that spawnable types file, click open. That's going to upload it and overwrite the original file that was there. If you also made a custom event with event spawns, we need to upload our event spawns at .xml into the same main missions folder. Back to the bottom of our file browser. Upload file. Find your event spawns. Select it, tap open, it's going to upload and overwrite. Then we're going to do the same thing to our DB folder with our events.xml. Again, no need to delete. Anything you upload of the same name will replace. So wherever you edited your files, open the DB folder, select your events, click open, and that will upload and overwrite as well. Once you have all your files uploaded that you have changed, simply click restart. You're going to let your server restart. You're going to load in and check it out. All right, so here we are back on our server. Got some examples spawned throughout as we did make a custom event. As you can see, we got some rusted panels. We got non-rusted panels and we have some with no panels as we only gave it a 65% chance. Looks like they had a gangbang over there. And we got rusted panels on just about every single car, at least a couple of them. Looks like a lot of these events are overlapping. I exaggerated the event more than I did the spawns, but that's all right. Again, another example, regular car, rusted panels. So let's do a quick recap. Hopped over to the G-Code, grabbed a copy of my version of rusted paneled vehicles. Again, adds a little bit of extras in the trunk and whatnot, and there's only a small percent, well, 65% chance of the panels actually being there, 50-50 chance of rusted or regular beyond that. 
we copied that over into our spawnable types file and replaced our other ones remembering to put our Hummer at the bottom and we went through a brief setup of a custom event exaggerated as usual to show an example so that's pretty much gonna be it for this one hope you learned some shit I'm out